Well, good morning. I always feel mildly surprised when I start recording videos and I look into the camera, even though I know that I pressed it. You watch some people that go, oh, hello, as if they didn't know that they just pressed record, but I did. Anyway, um, <clears throat> where are we? So this morning, um, I woke up and did my usual health check on my Nick Litton blog. And what I noticed was, over the course of the last week, I've had a lot of traction on this old blog that I wrote back in 2015. Simply saying, what's the best uh, terminal emulator to work on the IBM i system? i series as 400 um 3250 is the uh, screen format that we use for the data interchange between the systems it's what people call green screen um, now i guess maybe this means that with this whole horrible corona thing going on there's a lot more people working from home um, looking maybe to expand their career options um, and or a lot of unemployed people that are just trying to find out um, how to improve their ibmi knowledge so one of the first things you want to do is have a terminal emulator that you install on your PC. So I thought I would do a quick little blog about um, my top few emulators. Um, there are, of course, paid solutions, and there are several very good free solutions, um, and some that are free-ish. <clears throat> so IBM I ACS, Access Client Solutions, is for me the clear leader. It's free, go and download it. It gives you a fantastic uh, user interface for your 5250 emulation. It gives you um, multi-tabbed browsing. So in one window, just like in your browser, you can have different tabs running, connecting to different sy systems or the same system multiple times. Um, has really good screen font resizing. Um, and it has IFS data transfer, a click of a button to drag files up and down from the system, which is just fantastic. So tick, tick, tick. IBM I ACS, that's the way to go for me. But there are several notable contenders that I also use. Uh, built into Rational Developer, there's a very nice screen emulator. I always used to use a product called Mocasoft, Mocasoft, which is just a 5250 emulator. Um, I use that for probably 10 years. It's 30 bucks to buy from Mocasoft, and it just works. You click on it, boom, you're signed on. Very nice really nice font scaling much nicer than the old ibm i client access that's why i went for it and there were several other options in fact i just opened them all up so let's have a look this is the mocha soft one i'm going to record a separate little lesson i think where i'll just download each one install it and give you a quick two three minute overview so if you're interested in the premium products here's one mocha soft tn5250 if you just want a screen emulator, it's still the same price, $30 US with lifetime free upgrades. It just works. Very, very nice. Mocasoft.dk. There's this other product called TN5250 by the TN5250 company. Uh, never used it, but it, as it comes with um, a trial, I'm going to download it and see what I think about that one. I found this other one that seems to be linked, lots of people talking about it. Again, I've never used this one. Well, I think I have used it many years ago. TT Win. Uh, well, this is TT Win 4, so I probably use TT Win 3 or TT Win 2. Uh, again, it says that it does everything else. It has all of the benefits that seem to be good. Um, so I'll download that one and give it a quick little review. Now, to the top three free terminal emulators. Uh, lots of people use this other one, also called TN5250, over at SourceForge. Uh, originally, it was written for Linux, because I think it's written in Java. Um, but if you go to the, this really ugly front page for TN5250, you can download various ver versions, including a Windows uh, Win32 installer. Of course, I'm running Windows here, as you can see. Um, my simple preferred one that I always recommend to people if they just want to get a quick and easy Java 5250 emulator is TN5250J. It's been around for years. Indeed, it's been around since the AS400 days. So 15, 20 years it's been around. Um, and reasonably updated. Look, it was last updated a year and a bit ago um, not a lot to update in there it's just a screen emulator as you can see from the screenshots it just does everything that we ask for it not the best i don't quite like, really like how some of the font scaling works um 
but uh, I'll download that and we can have a look at that as well. Uh, last but not least is XTN 5250. When I was just Googling what are the best free ones out there, lots of people were talking about this. Uh, it hasn't been updated for five years. It looks like another version of TN 5250J, but I'll download that one and have a look as well. Um, and then, of course, I found a couple of links here. This one is talking about the ACS multi-tab screen. And this is an article on MC Press talking about the RDI built-in emulator. I'm going to show you all of those. So without further ado, let's spend some time looking at each of these uh, emulators in some more detail. And with each one, I'll connect up to the Pub 400 public IBM i system and show you how they work. Let's dive in. <laughs> 